Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Karina here with another video. Today's video is on this hair. This is the pre-styled Barbie doll wig from I believe it's Zeresis. I believe it's Zeresis, but I'll put the details below. Um, if you're interested in seeing what this actually started like to this, because I promise you it didn't look like this. I promise you. So if you're interested, keep watching. Alright guys, so if you continue to watch, I want to thank you first and foremost. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff that we always ask you to do at the beginning of these videos. Um, just keep that content rolling. So today, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about this hair. So this beautiful, beautiful unit is actually the Suricis wig that actually comes like this. It is actually a ponytail. It came in a ponytail. Um, I will be showing you guys shortly how it started and what it looked like. I mean, in the ponytail, like, it had potential, but it really wasn't it. Honestly, it just, it wasn't cutting it. Like, it, I was looking like I had a whole planet on my forehead and then it looked like a hump. Like, it was just, it wasn't it. So, um, I went ahead and pulled it out. I've also seen some videos of some girls pulling it out and I'm like, whoo! that's how the wig should have came so i went ahead and pulled it out as well and exactly how it came out in those videos is exactly how it came out for me so this is basically the wig once you pull it out of the ponytail this was one of the fastest customizations if you're looking for more detail you can watch some of my other videos i can link it here so that you know but this one was just a really quick like i gotta go but i want to show you guys and i've been dying to wear this wig but i had to film it in the ponytail first so i had to take a I just had to do it so now that I finally filmed it I can finally wear the wig oh my gosh look how beautiful it is beautiful it's beautiful with this hair so I do have some notes just so I don't forget to talk to you guys about this wig so as I mentioned it's a Zuri Sis brand in the bubble Barbie style wig slash ponytail slash whatever else you want to call it um i did order this online at so good bb and I believe it was $29.99 USD if the problem that you that i faced was those import and duties were brutal so i ordered i want to say i ordered like six or seven wigs between my sister and i and uh the total was like 300 dollars ish usd and we ended up paying almost 80 dollars in import and duties like just at the door and i was like why because like shipping was like 30 something dollars already so i was like why am i paying all this extra so i would warn you if you are shipping to canada beware ordering from that site they do not include important duties and they really be out here trying to play as canadians all right so um next thing um it did just take like about one week of shipping so it wasn't too bad but those import fees were brutal the bag came mash up like it was just i was like what is good like i'm gonna pay 80 dollars for this like it was partially open like it was a disaster but all the wigs were in there so i'm not gonna complain you know they got me my product so it is what it is um so i will admit once you pull it out of that ponytail it's tangling straight out the pack like i'm <laughs> let's not pretend let's not pretend like this isn't what it really is so it is tangling straight out the pack you guys can take a look and see i'll flip around do a 360 so you can see the full thing so as you can see there are tangles here and there it it is a little bit on the frizzier side. You don't want to comb it out too much or you'll lose those curls, but it's not one of those wigs that's going to last you forever. Honestly, like, you can see it yourselves. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. But um, it is definitely something, like, if you're going to, like, a wedding and you need a one wear, like, you got them, this is it. But don't think that this is something that you're going to be able to wear multiple day in, day out. Like, I'm going to wear it out tonight and that's probably going to be all that I'm going to get from this wig. So, again, you just have to weigh the pros and cons. Like, do you feel like it's worth it? Are you a high maintenance hair person, low maintenance? It all depends on the type of person you are and whether this wig is for you. 
So. All right, so if you wanted to see how I quickly install this in and out very fast, then go ahead and take a look at the video that is coming up. And if you have any questions, down below, and I will do my best to answer you guys. So keep watching. All right, so here is the construction of the wig, as I mentioned, very minimal lace in the front. Um, so it does have quite a bit of baby hairs, which is what I kind of want to show you, which is the focus of these clips right here. Um, like baby hairs on 10,000. I'm really not sure what they were thinking, but that's fine because you can just work with it. You know, at least it's pre-plucked slightly. So then again, you take your adhesive, whichever one you choose to use, adjust your wig cap underneath. Um, then you can go ahead and add additional layers of adhesive if needed. Um, again, I have a bunch of videos that can show you how to do this in detail versus this one is really, really quick. But then you go ahead, just adjust the wig, make sure it's sitting correctly from ear to ear. It's even on each side. Um, and then from there, you would take your scarf and then tie it down. Here you just see me adding a little bit more on the ear tabs um, just because it's just, just need a little bit more. So take your scarf, which is what I've done, tie it down, leave it down for another 10, 20 minutes. Um, and then here I'm just going to quickly show you guys and wrap it up. We'll basically show you guys what it looked like in a ponytail. So, yeah, the hump on the top was very 2002. It wasn't for me. But the style is, like, very regal, very nice. Like, if you're going to, like, a dinner or a wedding, it is a really nice look. It had potential, but it just really, it wasn't it for me. It needs a little bit more work. We need to bring it into 2020, you know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. Xeresis needs, needs a little bit more work. But overall, that's why I took it out. And that's that. So really quickly, just to kind of sum it up, would I recommend this wig? Probably not. It doesn't have the parting space here, as I mentioned. The lace is very thin. Like, I feel like if they had this wig, just in a different color, or this color in any other wig, I would get it. Because I love the color, and that's what I bought it for. I didn't really buy it for the wig itself, because this is not something that's going to hold up, to be completely honest. So... I would love to see this FFT Amber in other wigs. I think there's one other wig when it's sold out like everywhere. But I will link it below or the name of it below so you guys know which one I'm talking about. But this color is the reason I got the wig. It's not the wig itself, to be completely honest, because it's not going to hold up. But as you guys can see, this is kind of what it looks like. Well, not kind of. This is, this is the finished product. Beautiful style of wig poorly constructed wig not gonna last you very long so would i recommend it probably not if you're a low maintenance hair person absolutely not but if you are somebody who does hair all the time likes to switch it up just take pics take it off and go then yeah if you're someone like me then yeah and you can try it out you can try it out is it worth all those import fees absolutely not absolutely not